psalmist reminds us, O Lord, you have searched me and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. Friends, as we begin our worship on this Theological Education Sunday morning, I invite you, wherever you are, to bow with me now in a time of prayer. Let us pray. Holy and loving God, there is none like you in all of the universe. Lord, you call this world into being, and when you spoke, you brought forth light. You made order out of chaos, and when you breathed your breath, into the dust, us human beings came into life. And Lord, we have that breath in us, each and every one of us, even now today. And so as we gather before your throne of grace, we ask for that spirit to be stirred up inside each and every one of us, reminding us that we have a call in our lives, that you have placed a purpose in our hearts, and you have made us and will equip us for that purpose. Lord, on this Theological Education Sunday, as we try to understand what your free salvation means for us and the call in our hearts, we ask, O oh God, that you drop away any kind of blinders from our eyes, that you remove any barriers from our hearts, and you let our spirits truly commune with yours. So we have a fresh understanding of your holy word. We pray all this in the name of Jesus Christ, your son. Amen. Truly, this is the day that the Lord has made, and we want to rejoice and be glad in it. Student Deaconess Amber Sisahai Pei now leads us in a few familiar choruses. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has that the Lord has made We will rejoice We will rejoice And be glad in it And be glad in it This is the day That the Lord has made We will rejoice And be glad in it This is the day This is the day That the Lord has made our hearts and minds to hear God's word proclaimed by Reverend Adrian Sunarine. Today's reading of Holy Scripture is taken from the Gospel of Luke chapter 19, verses 1 to 10. This portion of Scripture is entitled, Zacchaeus and the Tax Collector. Jesus entered Jericho and was passing through. A man was there by the name of Zacchaeus. 
He was a chief tax collector and was wealthy. He wanted to see who Jesus was, but because he was short, he could not see over the crowd. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore fig tree to see him, since Jesus was coming that way. When Jesus reached the spot, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, come down immediately. I must stay at your house today. So he came down at once and welcomed him gladly. All the people saw this and began to mutter, He has gone to be a guest of a sinner. But Zacchaeus stood up and said to the Lord, Look, Lord, here and now I give half of my possessions to the poor, and if I have cheated anybody out of anything, I will pay back four times the amount. Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because this man too is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God for his word. Amen. Let's bow in prayer. Loving Lord, you look for us, even when we think we are looking for you. You search for us. And you inspire our hearts to search for you. Bless us, we pray, as we search for you in your word and in your world. Illumine our hearts by your divine spirit. Enkindle in us the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit to recreate in us a new heart and a new mind so that we may remember your goodness and your glory and your grace, and we may share the joy of your salvation. In your name we pray, O living Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus and Zacchaeus. We have heard this story before, and we're hearing it again. We are hearing it again as we think about all that God gives to us. We are hearing it again as we think about where Jesus meets us and where Jesus calls us to go and how our lives get transformed by meeting Jesus and by wanting to follow him. We think about that for stewardship, how all that we have, all that we have accomplished, all that we have achieved, all that we have attained, it comes from God. We think about that as we think of theological education, all that we want to learn about God, all that we are drawn to learn in any way, whether it's by private prayer, joining a Bible study at church, enrolling in courses at St. Andrew's Theological College, or giving to the college so that others may learn. All of it, it's God's gift. There are three things I want to draw your attention to. Three new things, perhaps, in this episode of Jesus and Zacchaeus. The first is the name of Zacchaeus. The name Zacchaeus probably comes from the Hebrew word for remember. In the synagogues, when they met and they thought about the commandments that God gave, they would recognize that one version of the Ten Commandments says, keep these commandments. Another version says, remember these commandments. The Jewish people taught their disciples and their followers that keep and remember was a single command. In the Hebrew language, that goes, shamor v'zakor bidibur echad. Zachor is the Hebrew word for remember. From that word, we get the name Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus remembers God. Zacchaeus remembers that there's someone called Jesus and he wants to see Jesus. 
What do we remember? Our memory leads us to action. Our memories lead us to the future. The past unfolds into the present, becomes the future, and then leads to the futures of other generations and the past of other generations. We are challenged to remember. Zacchaeus remembers, and Zacchaeus means remember. The other name I want to share with you, Jesus, salvation. Jesus recognizes that Zacchaeus changes. Zacchaeus wants to meet Jesus. Zacchaeus is called to go home, his own home, with Jesus. Zacchaeus is a changed person. He repays everyone far more than the law required. And he gives far more than generosity would have impelled him to under the law. Because Zacchaeus is acting not out of law, but out of love. And Jesus declares, salvation has come to this house. The name Jesus means salvation. In Psalm 96, verse 2, when we are told, sing a new song to the Lord, proclaim his salvation from day to day. In the original Hebrew, that is, Mashu, Melom, Leom, Yeshua, to Yeshua, salvation. Yeshua is the Hebrew word for salvation. So when Jesus declares to Zacchaeus, salvation has come to this house, of course it has, because Jesus has come to that house. When Jesus comes to our house, we are changed. We are different. So we think about the name Zacchaeus. We think about the name Jesus. The name Zacchaeus, which means remember. The name Jesus, which means salvation. And then we think about ourselves, our own name, our own journey, our own place. Jesus calls Zacchaeus down from the tree and towards his own home. Many of us are stuck up a tree, waiting for Jesus and watching the world go by. Are you up a tree today, figuratively, metaphorically? Are you up a tree in some way in life? Jesus calls us down from that place, and he calls us to go home, our own home, with Jesus. Going home with Jesus and sharing a meal with him is not a reward for being a certain kind of person. Instead, it is an assurance that whatever the kind of person we are, whatever the kind of person we may be, there is an assurance that we have the potential by the blessing of God to change and to become so much more. The name Zacchaeus challenges us to remember in our own lives what God has done, to keep and to remember the commands of God so that we are so much more by the love of God. Jesus, salvation, comes to us. That's what we keep. That's what we remember. That's what we live for. That's what we share. Whatever place we are in, we are challenged and invited to journey with Jesus, to remember Jesus is with us, always. So whatever our names are, God calls us. Thanks be to God for that. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Let's bow in prayer. Glorious and blessed Lord, you lead us. You lead us down from the tree and into our own homes. You lead us to ways that we can never expect. You show us that there is so much more that we have yet to learn. Living Lord, teach us to remember. Teach us to remember your goodness and your grace and your glory. Teach us to remember what we have been learning in the past, how we have been educated and enlightened. Teach us to remember someone who has blessed us. And then, O oh Lord, show us your salvation. Show us Jesus. Show us how we can reflect Jesus in our daily lives. Show us how we can share Jesus, whoever we are and wherever we go. Blessed Lord and gracious Savior, lead us down from the tree and into the home, starting with our home, so that salvation will lead us to a declaration. Here and now, Lord, we are changed forever. Here and now, Lord, generosity, graciousness, glory can be revealed. Hear our prayers, for we offer these and all our prayers in the name of the one whose name is salvation, in the name of the one whose name stirs our memories, awakens our souls, calls forth our conscience, and commands us to a new life, to a new vision, to a new faith, to a new hope, to a new love, starting from our home, his home, where he is the host and we are the guests. Bless us, O Lord, in this journey as we remember and share your salvation, our salvation. We offer these and all our prayers as you enlighten us and educate us as you alleviate suffering and sickness, and as you work within us and among us, in the powerful name of Jesus Christ, our living Lord and Savior. Amen. Student Deaconess Amber Cesar Haipe and leads us once more with the familiar hymn, The Summons. Will you come and follow me?
but call your name Will you quell the fear inside and never be the same Will you use the faith you found to reshape the world around Through my sight and touch and sound in prayer. Let us pray. Holy God, your word has been read and proclaimed and we ask now that it truly takes root in each and every one of our hearts. Lord, salvation has come to each and every one of us as a gift freely given, a gift we must still receive and a gift that we must also open and embrace. So we ask, Lord, that no matter who we are, if we think we are unworthy, if we feel shattered and broken and like no one can use us, that you remind us that we are loved, that you came on this earth to die for us, and that you remind us each and every day that we have a place in your flock. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest, remain, and abide with us here and all God's people and creation everywhere, both now and forevermore. Amen.